Let me start out by saying that I am not one of those PETA activists. I'm not a major animal activist, but I love animals. And I've worked in the animal industry for many years. And uh, I had various jobs in different um, places. And one of them, actually two of them, being the veterinary industry and the big box pet food stores. And I seen a lot of things behind the scenes that most of you would gag and uh, be very disgusted with if you really knew the truth behind this industry. Now, let me just uh, begin by saying that this is a multi-billion dollar industry. Um, and anything to do with the vet industry and the food industries is big box. And corporations are only in it to make money. So a lot of times when you go into your big box pet store or local pet store, actually the local pet stores are way better. They do a lot more research than the big box pet stores. So big box pet stores, I'm not going to say names because, you know, there's a, we live in a litigious society. But the big box pet stores um, actually claim they care about your pet's health. They care about the food that you're buying. Everything now is touted as organic, healthy, holistic, when really it's all about making a buck. And I saw what happened behind the scenes with these really expensive pet foods that are sold in the big box stores. I saw their representatives lie straight out to me, look me in the eye and lie. I asked multiple questions and I was lied to. And um, if I went through and told you all the lies they told me, I would be here speaking on this video for hours. So let me just begin by telling you what a lot of the pet foods that you buy in your big box store, your grocery store, your Walmart, your local Target is selling you. Now, a lot of these bagged foods like the chow is, um, you know, or kibble is $50, $60 a bag. And you're thinking, wow, I'm getting holistic food, really good, wholesome, natural food. Um, here's one actually a uh, warning flag. Read your ingredients, people. Learn about the ingredients that is on the back of these bags and the back of these cans. So here's an example. If you see the word beef, right? You picture like, like with the pictures on the bags, you see like really, really tasty looking filet mignon and chickens and they, they show you a really good dinner on the picture. And you're thinking, wow, it's good enough for me to eat. When the truth is, it's really not. So, for example, when you see the word beef, you're not, they're not telling you the beef, where the beef came from. Now, could it be rhinoceros beef? <laughs> could it be kangaroo meat? Could it be, yes, your pet. So if you see byproducts, um, say it says chicken byproducts, beef is the worst. You see beef byproducts. This is what you may be getting in your pet food. Now, I'm gonna give you a warning. Do not watch this video I'm about to show you if you have um, any bit of a queasy stomach because you will be sickened by what I'm about to show you. Absolutely sickened. This is horrific. Now, when I worked at the animal hospitals, when they euthanized the pet, where do you think the pets went? If the owner could not afford to have that pet cremated and left it behind at the vet, rendering companies now a rendering company is actually they buy waste they buy waste and sell it to big corporations to be used so it could be anything it could be um scrapings on the floor of a meat factory it could be um the most disgusting things you can imagine it could be chicken chicken beaks it could be chicken toes chicken feet it could be rotted and decaying carcasses that you see laying on the side of the road when you're driving to work um and the vet industry is actually implicit in this as well. So when you euthanize your pet and do not pay the extra money to have it cremated or take it away yourself, the pet rendering um, manufacturing companies, these, there's rendering people, they buy waste. These companies actually buy euthanized dogs. So when we would place a dog in the freezer that was euthanized and the owner did not take it away, um, a rendering company would come and pick these uh, dead pets up that were euthanized. Most of them had cancer. Most of them had diseases. Most of them had um, their collars still on them. Um, even their flea collars, their identification. And the rendering companies would pick up these pets, cart them off to um, 
like their factory that would grind up these pets into food, into your beef byproducts that you're seeing on the back of your 40, 50, $60 pet food um, that you're buying in the store. So take a look at this and please, warning, again, I'm telling you, if you're looking at this, you are gonna become sickened. So this is what goes on behind the scenes and is making your pet food. These are sick animals that were euthanized that are in freezers taken um, by these rendering companies and taking them and, and actually processing them into pet foods. There's the pet's name, did you see that? So there's your pet that had recently become deceased See, they took it from a veterinary clinic, it's saying. This is undercover video from, from an employee that remains anonymous. They throw them into barrels. Now they're at the rendering plant where they're going to process these pets and turn them into food that your own pets are eating, whether it be your cats or dogs. So they're taking all the euthanized animals now from the veterinary clinic's freezer. And I told you, I worked in two veterinary clinics. I've seen this myself behind the scenes going on. So now these are all the euthanized pets from the veterinary clinics placed in barrels like they're garbage. And they're about to be ground up into pet food. This includes roadkill on the side of the road Diseased and dying cattle, so they're downer cattle that died from diseases, also thrown in there. Zoo animals, also. So they're dumping all these pets. Look how disgusting this is. Now, these pets sit in hot trucks, these deceased pets, and their carcasses are rotting. Rotting, filled with maggots. And it's being processed into your pet's food. So let me fast forward this and show you what's happening here. Now they're gonna, look, they're taking the pet's collars off. Some of them get left on and ground up into the pet's food, actually. Okay, this is what this product looks like. Look at all the rotting, decaying meat, all the dead animals. They call this the pit. This is going into your pet's food, your $50, $60 premium dog food brands. Now this is going to be ground up into the food. Look, they're even in the plastic bag still, and they sometimes throw them in in the plastic bags. That's why a lot of our pets are getting sick, and they're actually getting diseases like cancer because they're eating toxic sludge. Now here they are. The euthanized pets are ground up into this pet food. This is the honest to God truth. I've seen it behind the scenes, guys. Look at this. They're all going through the grinder. They're all shredded up. And this is your pet's food. So what I'm going to tell you is what can you do to avoid this? You can pet, uh, cook your pet um, your own food. There are recipes online that give you the correct dosages of vitamins that you need and nutrients you need in your pet's food. And that's the only way you can avoid this. So once again, thanks for watching. I'm sorry I had to show you this. Um, be careful, read the ingredients. If you see beef um, as one of the ingredients, I'm telling you right now, this is what you're getting beef. Do not buy anything that says beef or beef. Anything byproduct is even worse. It is the most disgusting diseased food you're feeding your pets.